Hey, it's me, Site 7 welcome to part 23 of my Library Runa walkthrough. We'll do these yellow exclamation points to start off. So these are small stories, or chit-chats, and they're basically just the Sephiroth talking with one another. Now here's Bina. I must wonder how you two perceive me, now that your memories have returned in whole. What? That kind of stuff doesn't matter to me anymore. You're much more self-possessed than I expected. I can't say I'm not at all uncomfortable. We're basically in the same oven now. Come on, Hod. Have some confidence. You look even smaller than usual. You're not the person you remember in your past. At least not anymore. I can't guarantee you what will happen in the future, but she won't be harming us for a good while. Oh, I'm right. Sorry, Gebra. Fascinating. As much as it would be amusing to make a jest of her pitiful state, Gebra is speaking the truth. I am no longer the being you interacted with in the past. When it seems to have ended, a new breath of life is given. Of course, I'm not entirely separable from my past self either. I've become someone who cannot do any harm to you, yet I can still see fear in your eyes. What is it that you're so afraid of, child? I am in the same circumstances as yours now. I was just nervous, since this is our first time sitting face to face and talking to each other. Fret not, I have called you two for a simple reason. You have tea together. I suggest you drink it before it gets cold. It is best enjoyed while the scent is warm and able to be savored. The tea is clear. It tastes a bit sweet. I added lemon juice and honey to the black tea. I prepared it specially for you. It didn't smell like honey at all. I thought you put sugar. It is because the scent of the honey was lost as it came in contact with the tea. Too much sugar can make the tea feel muddy, so I suppose it is a matter of preference. Sure is sweet. Not too bad. Did you know? Black tea has several names across various regions. Oh, I think I heard about that. Some call it black tea based on the color of the leaves, and some call it red tea since the color of the tea is red. I guess it's the difference between valuing the essence and the results. Perhaps you could view it that way. So let me ask, how would you like to refer to this tea? It's a tough question. It's a big deal. Just call it whichever name you're more used to. If that is what you say. Why is she smirking? So weird. It's rather entertaining to converse with you. Come again later when you long for the scent of tea. I always feels like she's talking about something entirely different than what she's saying. I have one for the Caterpillar. Hey there, what are you guys talking so seriously about? This is a serious matter indeed. Right, this issue has to be settled now. We're in so much trouble. Just tell me what's going on. It's like ran off. The floor of art was responsible for cleaning the library's corridors this week. What? Do you have any guesses on where he might be? No, of course not. No way. Hmm. His assistant librarians must have all disappeared with him too. Cleaning? I don't remember ordering you to clean this place. We concluded that while each librarian should clean at their own rooms, better to take turns to clean the corridors as their public spaces used by all of us. You lot always love to cause a bigger fuss than necessary, don't you? Do you want us to stop it? No, I don't mind it. Thank goodness. 
Anyway, that's why we've been wondering. Just where did Netsack hide away? Tai. Alright, here's Netsack. What? What the? What happened? It takes no effort for me to locate and relocate you a lot, wherever in this library you may be. Ned Zack, we promised to keep the order we decided on. So mean. Running away when it's your turn. Reek of alcohol, and so do your assistant librarians behind you. I can explain. There's a good explanation for this. What explanation? Let's hear your story then. I know, Ned Sack will surely be careful next time. That's enough scolding. No. I must hear what he has to say. Ned Zack! Look, I didn't feel like cleaning, but I still was gonna do it. I was grumbling to myself about it. Then Roland came along and said he found a good spot to goof off. Says he'll tell me where if I shared some of my beer and how I can skip clean. Whoa, looks like he's still too drunk to speak straight. He sure loves to drink for someone so weak with it. Roland, is what Netsack said true? Ah, nah, it can't be. I can faintly smell alcohol from you as well, now that Netsack's confessed it. I'm disappointed in you too. Alright, I'm sorry. I'll help Netsack clean the corridors today, so please forgive me. Hmm, no. How about you join them on the cleaning roster from now on, rather than just for today? What? That's a good idea. I could forgive your misbehavior today in that case. Good luck with the cleaning then. You're also prone to make a fuss, aren't you, Roland? Dang, got him good. Now on to an abnormality fight. So Oscar's page, Seiyu's page. Uh, Anton for defense and Emma's page for damage. I'm gonna use the blades wetted by teardrops on Oscar's page. Because it's the only pure setup I have with all these people. And what do we got? The King of Greed. Oh no. I don't fully remember this, but I kind of remember not liking this fight. Or just having a hard time with it. One of the two. Never saw it crawling from the other side of the corridor. It was terrifying. Definitely, I remember running for my life. Gilded Splendor is the same as before. Watch out, it's reckless to step in her way without any preparation. Does not act if HP reaches zero before the end of the scene awakens as magical girl. Otherwise, awakens as the king of greed. Oh. I guess I just have to beat the hell out of it this scene. This seems like a trap to get me to waste all of my light. I'll do it. I guess maybe not, because they're doing a ton of damage. All the same, she was a magical girl no more. I love the effects all the magical girls have. There she is. Okay, so she transforms into the King of Greed at 50%. Her three scenes... Oh, okay, I remember this. Okay, yeah, I remember this fight. I 
I really don't want this last one to hit. Letting her gain strength is a big mistake. I guess I can try to dodge all that. Probably my best bet. Oh no. Just broke one of my speed dice and a two feeble. I really need to do some clashes with her to get her light level up, but none of these are very good. I also really need to draw on him. I guess maybe it's just better if I actually lose that clash. At least I'll gain the some emotion coins. Okay, we didn't give her more strength. Okay, so here's where she enters Bliss. And we have to destroy these in order to gain a card to play against her mass attack that she's gonna do. I think it's a mass attack. You might target just one character while she's a magical girl. So she's mass attacking. And this is the card you get, so you can see 1515, it should block that pretty easily. And you can also use it to defend against the other attack she's gonna use. Actually it really sucks. You wanna use it to get like on as many people as you can, but I just didn't do that. Okay, so it only hit one, but she's going to be staggered. It's 
just three strength. Hey, why is it that she gets that? I want to double check. Three fewer librarians. Oh, three or fewer. So everyone has to negate it in order to make sure she doesn't get the strength and speed. And that's actually really brutal. I was hoping the counter dice would have done more. I think next scene she's gonna use... Or she's gonna go into Bliss again. I should have taken more bleed here. I think having two Seiya's pages might have been... A lot better. Got her down to 50% HP. So the next scene she's gonna transform. Yeah. And since this counts as a new character, all the status effects are gone. Are they I guess not gone? They reset. She gets some really strong cards here. It should become a lot, a lot tougher. I think bringing some Feeble into this would have also been really smart.
we go again. And everyone kind of has to destroy one. Oh man, I don't know if playing this will actually kill it. No, I don't think so. I need to do 20 damage. I might actually. I think we might have to sacrifice this character. She targeted the one character that didn't destroy him. Okay, I mean, it's not a mass attack. But dude, she used everything on her. That's actually crazy. Uh, so something I can do is this is guaranteed to win and it'll deal big stagger damage to her. And then with everyone else, I can just beat her up. I guess I could try to clash. Nope, oh, she's dead as hell. Hey, look at all that stagger damage. Why? Everyone just took 15 damage. What is that from? Oh, this? If a librarian fails to negate any of the special combat attack? Okay. So much hope in that attack. Okay, I just need to deal one damage. So this is the easiest thing I can hit. Alright. Okay, there's still hope. Oh yeah, I think I got this actually. Hey, I did it. And that was really close for comfort. Oh my gosh. Here's your books fresh out of the oven. As one's mind is amplified, they undergo changes such as gaining new powers or transforming. That's what they call the distortion phenomenon. 
It happens in a way that's almost identical to how abnormalities were made back in the bottom corp. The distortion is the abnormalities? Even though the process is similar, they have fundamentally different roots. Abnormalities weren't manifested out of the person's own will, most importantly. While abnormalities were created by someone else forcibly drawing out one's ego from the deep well of their mind, the distortion occurs of one's own volition. That means those monsters lie within everyone's hearts, huh? The whole world would be a mess if, in no time, if people just started becoming distortions left and right. That won't happen. A strong motivation is needed. Look at Philip of the Dawn Office, who became the crying children, for instance. It took an intense heightening of his emotions for him to turn. There seems to be some kind of condition to it. And what we did was the greatest variable that affected it. A variable? The light that Angela stole for herself. If we managed to light up the world for seven whole days, side effects like this wouldn't have happened. I see. Our plan was stopped halfway, and that was the problem. Looks like we ended up making things worse. Is there any way to revert this? Reclaim all the light that we spread, and then shine over the city once again for seven days using the light we've gathered. I don't think Angela is just going to sit and watch. She asked us to wait until all the light has been retrieved. She needs it for her own plans, after all. Oh yeah, you were one of these Sephiroth that accepted Angela's plea for more time. Why though? She's the one who sabotaged your plan, so why be nice to her? You're right, I was frankly upset, but... I wanted to believe that we need to give Angela a chance. You got the patience of a saint. To be honest, I'm still mad at her, and I still want to snap at her even now. But Enoch, this is what Enoch would have done, I'm sure of it. You would have told me to trust her just a little more. Well, that's impressive. You're much stronger than me. I wouldn't have dreamed of making that choice if I were you. I just can't think in such long terms. I'm sure you'll earn that insight when you meet someone who means as much to you. So let's hang on until then. Someone who means a lot to me, huh? Thanks for the kind words, kid. I am not a kid. Hey, did Roland ever bring her any picture books? That's the real question. Okay, so we got some pretty good abnormality pages here. A uh, 25% chance to destroy all dice in the opponent's page in the if your first dice wins. That's pretty good. Gaining endurance for each class you win in a scene up to three. Uh, so this can kind of stack on itself, like with my really defensive deck with Anton's key page, you can basically keep uh, three endurance. And then greed, obviously this isn't very good. Well, I mean, hey, I guess it's okay actually. All right, and that's everything we have here. So I need to re-equip my bottom floors because we are going to descend into hell with the Star of the City fights. Now the question is, what do I want to run? There's a lot of good synergy. I'm thinking Yasad and Malkith is where I should focus.
I really don't think I want to use Eugen's page. I could just use another Emma's page. That'd actually be pretty good. When Star of the City originally, the first one that came out was this one. Um, this is not the one I would say to start with. If I was going to say what you should do is probably this. This is probably the first one that you'd want to start up. And I'll go ahead and do that. Definitely not because we get to see some of the coolest fixers in the game. I love these guys. President, have you seen the request from T-Corp? Yeah, yep, that's Nemo. He is a walking iPad. Well, well, this is such a difficult situation. Have we been found out? How clumsy of W Corp to leak its singularity so carelessly. That's no good. No good at all. Everything went as the blue vibration said in the end, I must admit. Yes, indeed. This is a perfect opportunity for us to learn the details of W Corp's singularity. All we have to do now is visit the library with this invitation and earn the books of W Corp's cleanup crew. Prez, the library is the star of the city now. We've completed 11 requests regarding the stars of the city until now. Such expertise is why we're under the direct sponsorship of a T Corp. When we acquire the confidential information on W Corp Singularity, what are you going to do with it? I don't believe you'll just return it to W Corp. We should sell it to the clients that need the technology, of course. A patent war is about to break out, too. So we aren't handing it to T Corp right away. Mr. Bada, it takes more than just diligent work to rise through the ranks as our office has. We should always seek opportunities. I was honestly skeptical at first when we were told to entrust work to some irrelevant rubbish like the gay's office. I thought they were joking with us, but look what it did for us. Here's the thing though. See? Squarey head, it went just as I predicted, didn't it? It's a pleasure to meet you for the second time, President Nemo of Kane Office. Here's the thing, you ponty creep and wing forsaken skeleton head. Since when did we agree to go there on our own? This is how you screw us over? We're supposed to walk into the library ourselves? Including me? Six sided school. You bragged about taking care of 11 star of the city class request mere moments ago, no? What's wrong? Don't tell me. Are you scared? You were listening in on our conversation? This could be problematic. <laughs> Oh, you sneaky peepers, you. They say the walls have ears, but it looks like shitbags do too. Am I scared? Well, yes, I'm scared piss and shitless. Thanks for asking. I just got miffed. 
It's going to be a real hassle cooling him down for a while. I did not quite expect the prominent and prestigious cane office to swallow their words. Mr. Skullcap, do I look like scrap for brains? Your motive is so transparently blatant, I can't possibly not be terrified. If I were to enter the library and turn into a book there? And then the library would get a book detailing the singularities of W Corp and T Corp? And the same library where the book about L Corp is? Guess who will be getting a hold of three singularities at once? In times like these, when we're on the brink of a patent war? So plainly obvious, I don't see a point to say it twice. Dude, I love this guy. So funny. Tell me, who's the mastermind behind this? Whose pockets are you trying to fill with your little games? Dear, dear. I was wondering what words were going to come out of your agitated speech device. That's all you could think with your rectangular noggin? Singularities? A patent war? You can't even get a chuckle out of it. It's not funny in the slightest. You like to raise your voice over the pettiest things like your life depends on them, don't you, Boxy Buck? I'm stunned by how puny this is. Harmbus Brain thinks we're just here to make some bread. How idiotic. Yeah, that's why he's the best. Mr. Nemonitor, I'm not interested in your views. Patent War, Mastermind, Money, think whatever you want, but promises are promises. Pluto? Pluto? Of course, sir. Ladies and gents, please have another look at the contract. To summarize the point, we will provide Kane Office with information about W Corp Singularity. And in return, Kane Office will secure books from the library for us when we want them. The signatures of Mr. Nemo, Miss Martina, Mr. Bada, and the leader of our ensemble, Argalia, are clearly written here. We weren't told that the information about W Corp's singularity would be provided in the form of books from the library, not to mention having to acquire it ourselves. The terms were in rather ambiguous vocabulary, admittedly. However, that would not make the content of this contract any less appropriate under the current circumstances. You aren't one to decide that. Cuboid, taking the pen like lightning and he signed the contract in haste, making a huge fuss about a patent or whatever, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure he said he's in urgent need of intel about the singularities. The contract never specified it that we are to head to the library ourselves, it only said Kane Office is going. You should have checked the terms carefully. Here, take a look. Not seeing a thing. Let me lend you my eyeglass, dear. Have a closer look at the fine print. All those who sign this contract must retrieve books at the library. A foolish deception. Do you think you'll get off scot-free after meddling with our business? What makes you think we'll abide by your fraudulent contract at this point? Dear, dear. This thing is no ordinary contract, you see. Now, what was it called, Pluto? It would be yesterday's promise. If you remember from the Dawn Office uh, pre-battle and their books, this is the dude that was responsible for the Thousand Needles case. Right, that. Yesterday's promise. Not my type of name, to be honest. Anyway, if you don't fulfill the conditions of this contract, you can take anything out of those who sign the paper, see? We can take as much as we want, whenever we want. Nonsense. 
Pluto? Pluto. Ne. As you wish. Lo and behold, this is Mas Mr. Bada's heart. See, he's holding it. He's going down. Bada. Bada. Spent quite a fortune on your body. I can see this heart is augmented with an exquisite procedure. Here, I've returned it to you. Seal Oblong, I don't care about what you think. I just want you to keep the promises you made with me. Besides, T Corp directly issued the same order to you. So you have to be there anyhow, no? Seething with anger at us won't spare you from going to the library. Let me ask something. What are you plotting to do with demons like that? I'll perform the beauty of humanity and this world. It will break down the boundaries of loneliness we all have. We'd appreciate it if you could get the job done by today. Beauty? Loneliness? Brain sick loony. Ada, is your heart okay? Should we go see a doctor? They're gone. What are we gonna do now, Prez? Well, it looks like we've been had. Are you really sure we'll be alright going by ourselves un underprepared? Let's think simplistically, everyone. Don't get too serious. Go ahead into the library and take the books and come back. That's all there is to it. Let's get ready. Remember that skeleton? He was with the blue vibration the last time we saw him. Mm -hmm. He said something about yesterday's promise. I think I read about it in one of the guests' book. books. On the surface, it appears to be an ordinary contract, but unfavorable terms are hidden in the fine print. It was speculated to be the cause of some kind of incident, although I'm not quite sure if the claim is verifiable. It's even more obscene to see it in action. That's such a manipulative scheme. I suppose. He's far from being the only manipulative guy in the city, though. That's true. People use each other all the time. You think that's a given? Simply gave up dwelling on it any further. I still don't believe that's fair. In a similar vein, you're using me and I'm using you. You say so, I guess. Don't worry, I don't mean to imply any distrust towards you. It's just... Yes, keeping the options open, that's all. Better safe than sorry, as they say. Hey, I never told you any lies, you know? Only keeping a few things from me. Hmm, I guess I am. Forget it. Why don't you go back to sorting books now? Don't bother being inquisitive, huh? Is there any reason you aren't asking further? None in particular. I could certainly pry, but I figured it wouldn't be fun to uncover everything about you that way. I came to the conclusion that having something to be curious of is beneficial for maintaining interpersonal relationships. That's all. Or perhaps I've grown to trust you that much. We are led by monsters out of the pan and into the flame. A den of monsters known as the library. This has to be comedy gold, the joke of the century. I heard the library is rather gentle, if that helps. Just a moment. Anything the matter? Martina? Yeah. What do you think of this place? It's faint, but I can smell something. Exactly, it reeks of money, profit. Can't even smell with that head. Every cloud has a silver lining and looks like we found one. Are you planning to sell books or something? 
Precisely. Even if our reputation as a contract office may tank, at least we won't starve to death if we get books from here and sell them. Aren't you swimming in cash already, Prez? Martina, our president spends a year's worth of an average backstreet dweller's food expenses every day. He can never have enough money. Still, I never built my office staff. My word upon it. Greetings, dear guests. You must be Angela, the director of this place, the so-called Pale Librarian. She doesn't look pale at all, though. Ada, watch your words. This Angela here may be our precious provider of goods and wealth in the future. This changes his attitude so swiftly. I'm used to it by now. May you find your book in this place. Yep, so for this fight we can only use three characters. And this is another charge fight. Okay, so he's got one pretty brutal card, this energy beam, which rolls really high. It's kind of impossible to clash with, really. Uh, and then as for the other two, Martina can be a little obnoxious because of this uncanny strike. When she spends charge, she can deal bonus stagger damage. Yeah, it says up to three times. So she can really hurt here. If you're not careful about her. And then Bada, he can boost all the power on this dice. Like this, or this combat page, this can be pretty brutal too. And I think what I want to do here I really want to try getting Yield My Flesh to go off. Already have equipped. I'm so tempted to try it. Because it'll lose to Nemo's page pretty easily. Which means I get a giant counter dice that can just nuke someone. And then I'll use the other one to be a little more defensive. So it should be good. Please control your temper and look ahead calmly. Don't you worry, there's no real reason for us to lose either. Should have read the contract more carefully. So I'd say for this fight, uh, taking out Martina first is probably the best thing you can do. You could also go for Nemo as well, but we kind of want to farm his page since he's got the golden page. He's got that really cool effect too. Love that.
Look how much stagger damage took here. And that's wild. That does so much. Man, she just keeps going after him. Okay, good, we got that stagger. And this fight has been a nightmare so far. <laughs> oh man, this is probably gonna stagger here too. And then they're both attacking him. Only with pretty high speed values, I can't redirect any of this. And since that's ranged, it'll play first. I could just go for a stagger here. And then damage there. Yeah, there's no way. Dang. I got wrecked for this. Told you, Star of the City is something else. I don't think any of this saves me. I would have needed a mass attack. Oh, he's using it again. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm dead. All right, what well, happens? Dang, my first defeat. I'm actually surprised this is the K in office because I thought this would be 
the easiest one to fight, actually. Okay, so I don't think <laughs> Bamboo Headed Kim didn't do, didn't perform well there. We need something to clash with Martina. I think Transpierce is my best bet. And then Anton didn't do very much against... against Bada. So maybe I just run the two Emma pages and Oscar. I'll try that. And as you can see, if you lose a reception, you'd lose the book you put up. Number two. So I think I'll use I'll let this counter dice clash with that. I stood okay there. Maybe I do take that. And I'll clash with Nemo to get his books. Okay, she's playing two of these. Transpierce that one. I guess we'll just try and block some of the damage there. And for Bada, I think that's a little bit more damage, so we'll clash with that. Look at all that stagger damage. Alright, he's firing his laser. Honestly, I don't even want to clash with it. Okay, so I should be able to stagger here. See, this five will play first. So this is my best bet for actually winning that. Right, let's see how this plays out. I guess they are attacking him. 
Oh, uh, that shouldn't kill, though. The question is, do I go for... Oh, man. He has no light. Okay, I'm not gonna win that. This five will play first. Really slim chance this staggers. Yeah, so Yasad's gonna get staggered here. So we staggered Nemo and got some good damage on him. And Martina's just a menace here. Okay, so I think I'll cheese this by doing that. Now, how much damage can I do here? Right, I think that's the play. I can get a one-sided attack on someone, I can just flat out kill him with that. I think I'll go for that. Kill Martina. And then I guess we might just sacrifice Yasad. <laughs> Since this is all coming towards him. Although this will play first, so this actually has a chance to stagger. Easy stagger and a kill. I have to get back. Oh dear, you should have been careful not to get hurt. So we turn into books when we die. Oh, you'll find out soon enough. Monster. Got Nemo. I suppose patent wars are fiercely fought, judging from the way he talked about it. Yeah, all in all, technology is the most reliable means of making money in this city. Patent wars are waged over those technologies, but in truth, the other side really benefits from them. It ends in a pirate victory at best. They don't respond well. They might lose their rights to... Oh jeez, that word rap is so bad. If they don't respond well, they might lose their rights to the technology by an imitation, or spend too much time and energy for the win, to have been worthwhile. At the end of the day, people like the guests we just greeted profit the most from those conflicts. 
Well, it's entertaining to spectate as long as the trouble isn't yours. You got a bunch of interesting stories. Want to hear them? Save the whole thing for a later time. It sounds like it'll be a long tale. Has R Corp participated in a patent war? No, I don't think I heard any stories about that. At least. Our corp is already exceptional among private military contractors. I got a little mixed up here. How about the singularity of another wing? Has our corp tried to get a hold of any? I bet every wing thinks the same way about that matter. Few wings use the singularity on its own. Or use their singularity on its own. Our corp must be using a singularity or two that doesn't belong to them, you know what I mean? And they gotta pay the owners a fee whenever they use them. If they uncover the secrets of those singularities owned by other wings, they could save that expense, correct? Spot on. Religion, huh? This floor smells like danger. So you've come, Roland. Hey, Hakuma. I'm Roland, the guy who's going to be bringing books here from now on. You double as Angela's servant. <clears throat> yep, a servant I am. You seem rather content with your occupation. It's not about satisfaction or anything. I'm just doing this because the only other option is death. You aren't exactly fond of me or Angela, huh? Judging from your overbearing attitude right out the gate. No obligation to treat you ilk with any courtesy or greeting. Any faith I would have has long been crushed. I believe you'll make good friends with Yasad down there. I dedicated my entire life to fulfilling the wish of a single person. And Angela stomped that wish, got it. Plus, you probably loathe me as well since I'm her full-time assistant. I mean, you already had an agreement and everything, didn't you? You're supposed to help her complete the library and find the one book she seeks, right? Do you truly believe that the one singular book exists as Angela claims? What? Duh. She wouldn't be looking for it if it didn't exist. Indeed, she firmly believes that the invitation will lead her to that book somehow. Now let me ask, how could you put your faith in the invitation and Angela so easily? Including her promise to give you freedom once her goal has been met. Well, I mean, obviously, the library is expanding as a matter of fact, and Angela and the other librarians are slowly changing too, yeah? So that is the basis of your faith. How preposterous. What's your point, old man? Just bring me more books. I spent much time in boredom until now. And that's the floor of religion. That's Hakma. He's pretty cool, I like his, his character's interesting. And I think I'll call it for that. Uh, that was just a little taste of the start of the city though, and it's, it's pretty brutal. Oh, actually, wait, 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 wait. I have to burn books. I almost forgot. Oh, we only got one key page out of that? Okay. I'll burn them all. I can farm off recording. Dang, we didn't get Nemo's page. Okay, I'll read these two and then I'll farm for Nemo's page and I'll read it at the start of the next one. Start off with Bada. Contracts should be signed on equal terms with the consent of all parties involved. And the offices must fulfill the terms of the contract following the mutual agreement. It's a societal boundary that keeps us humans from betraying each other's trusts, as we must coexist. Although these principles are rather abstract, they exist to prevent anyone from 
devising lowly schemes and ensure that each party gets just benefits. The head's rules don't cover every small detail, so you can say this is a necessary addition to fill those gaps. Notarization is the process of drafting a document to officially certify a deal between two offices in case things happen. A not notarial? Notarial? I, I don't know what that is. Act is fairly powerful. Through these documents, you can verify various facts and secure executory force, meaning if one side doesn't carry out their part of the contract, the contract can be enforced on them. There's no need to argue about who is to blame. Notary acts exist to stop unnecessary disputes from occurring, and it's the job of, a, of notary public offices like Kane Office to help with that. Oh, and the city is divided into domains. It's similar to how the Zwei Association sets territories for policing. It's fair to expect at least one notary public office in every domain. This isn't to say that you can only use the notary public in your domain if you can't find a notary public or if the office isn't functional for whatever reason you can always go to other domains though it costs a bit more a lot of people still choose the latter since they need to get business done in a hurry not every notary public office has the same level of professionalism after all okay now i can call it for this one, and I'll see you in the next part. Peace.